And I think the question uh, in my mind, and perhaps yours, is why this country at this time? And I think the answer to that is readily apparent uh, because the success of the Indian manufacturing community uh, is seen all over the globe. Uh, in the United States, about 75 to 80 percent of our medicines now, in terms of prescriptions, are generically prescribed. And I don't quite have the exact number, but my guess is somewhere between 10 and about 30 percent of those are coming from India. That is true in the United States, it's true in Europe, and it's true all over the globe. So I think we have to say to ourselves that over the brief period of time, relatively brief, since your independence in the late 1940s, uh, you have become a marvel to the world in terms of promoting access to medicines. And I think we're all looking forward to the time when Indian manufacturers also innovate. I know that's occurring in your laboratories and your universities now. And I think we expect your achievements there to be as great uh, as your manufacturing achievements in making duplicate medicines. Now, USP's Board of Trustees has been strongly committed to our presence here in India, and our international activities have their full support. And specifically, they have the full support of my Board of Trustees in working with the government of India, and in particular, the, the Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission. We have chosen India as a country uh, to work on for this new compendium, simply because India is so successful at making medicines for the global community. Uh, as we consider this medicine this compendium here in India, we want to make sure that it synergizes and supports the work of the Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission as they elaborate the Indian Pharmacopoeia. It is not designed to be competitive, but it is designed to amplify the work of the Indian Pharmacopoeia uh, commission to the benefit both of Indian manufacturers, the Indian populace, and also Indian manufacturers who export into the global community. Let me focus a little bit on then what this compendium might be as it evolves. I've already talked about it being authorized. It is not official. It has no legal force. It's a reference. It's a continually evolving reference based on the standards manufacturers need to assure the quality of medicine. We anticipate that it's a web-based publication without print. We anticipate a very special approach that we call a performance-based monograph where we have a reference procedure suitable for all articles, all medicines under the monograph title, as well as acceptable procedures that are specifically applicable to a manufacturer's medicines and its ingredients. Uh, there are other aspects for our, we hope for, which is that the reference materials can be certified reference materials with traceability statements and uncertainty statements. And we hope that the, me the medicines compendium can control all impurities as needed.